In this video, we're going to be previewing a matchup here in the East region between the number seven seed Washington State Cougars taking on the number 10 seed Drake Bulldogs in what should be a classic matchup. For the Washington State Cougars, this is the first time they've made the NCAA tournament since 2008 when Tony Bennett was the head coach at WSU. They come into the tournament with a 24-9 and record overall. They finished second in the Pac-12, lost in the Pac-12 tournament semifinals to Colorado in the tournament. This team is all about defense and size, both offensively and defensively. 29th in the nation in defensive efficiency. They've got a really good paint defense, and they try and run teams off of the perimeter and force them into that absolute blender of a paint defense. This is the second tallest team in America, a very, very tall group for Kyle Smith and Washington State. The Cougs' key player to watch out for is Jalen Wells, their junior guard who stands at about six foot eight. Here's a stat for you about Wells. He averages 14 points per game in Washington State's wins and eight points per game in Washington State's losses. Therefore, usually when Jalen Wells has a nice game offensively, so do the Cougs, and they more often than not win, especially with the way they've been shooting the three ball lately. They need him to step up and make some shots, especially from the outside. Now, the big concern for this Washington State group, kind of as I alluded to, is they've really struggled to shoot the three ball here over the past couple of games. Their starting point guard and Pac-12 freshman of the year, Miles Rice, is 0 for his last 22 three-pointers over his last seven games. Also starting forward, Andre Yakimovsky, the senior captain of this team, hurt his right shoulder, his dominant right shoulder. A couple of games ago, he struggled to shoot the three ball ever since. The Cougs are going to have to hit some outside shots to loosen up defenses if they're going to have a solid NCAA tournament. For the 10th seeded Drake Bulldogs, on the other hand, a solid season once again for Drake, a 28-6 and record for them. They finished second in the regular season in the Missouri Valley Conference, and they came away with the conference tournament championship in an exciting game over Indiana State, who probably should be in the field as well, in my personal opinion. Drake is a very efficient half-court offense. They're 30th in the nation in offensive efficiency, and they execute really well in their half-court sets. They're nearly top 40 in every single shooting metric and efficiency metric there is on the offensive end of the floor. Drake knows how to run solid and efficient offense. Also, this is the best defensive rebounding team in the nation, number one, in defensive rebounding for Drake. Their key player is their best player, Tucker DeVries. He's their leading scorer. He averages 22 points per game, seven rebounds, and four assists per game as well. He's an efficient shooter. He can score from inside and from out. He's kind of a bigger guard, and he uses his big body to get shots on the inside when he gets matchups against smaller guards. Now, the concern for Drake is they do have a little bit of a lack of size at some positions. Obviously, DeVries, a bigger guard, and their big man, Darnell Brody, have size, but the rest of their lineup is a little bit undersized. They can be taken advantage of a little bit, especially their paint defense can at times be suspect. Now, as far as how these two teams match up, this is going to be a good game, and I think it comes down to a couple of different factors for the keys to the game and how I'm going to pick this one, right? Size and rebounding are the two main things I'm concerned about. Washington State, very tall team. They use their size to their advantage. Drake, a pretty small team, barring a couple of the positions that we just talked about. Then the rebounding aspect. Washington State, solid team on the offensive glass and on the defensive glass. The offensive glass is going to be particularly important because they haven't shot the ball well as of late. Drake, the best defensive rebounding team in the country. So where does that leave us? 
I think in the end, the size and talent from the power conference will get Washington State over the edge. However, this one certainly could go either way. If I had to put this one on the upset potential meter, I would say that this is a likely upset here, a 10 over a 7 for Drake. But in the end, I'm going to go with the Washington State Cougars. I think they get enough from their offense to get by Drake here in this first round matchup, whether they hit enough outside shots or they just offensive rebound and get a lot of second chance points. I think they find a way in what's probably a fairly low scoring game. I imagine this game will be in the 60s, but give me Washington State to advance past the Drake Bulldogs to the second round. Do you want to win your March Madness bracket pool? Do you want to not only beat your friends and family, but absolutely humiliate them? If you like the sound of that, subscribe down below to College Hoops tonight because we're previewing all 36 first round games of the NCAA tournament to give you the edge you need to nail your bracket and absolutely crush your friends and family in your bracket pool.